In this section, I'm going to talk about the operation of orifice plate um, flow meters and also the discharge coefficient through um, these devices. Okay, so um, similarly to a Venturi, um, an orifice, orifice flow, um, an orifice plate uh, flow meter um, has a change in um, diameter and exception, but unlike the Venturi, it's quite abrupt. So if you remember in the Venturi, we had quite nice um, contraction throat and um, diverging section, but this is essentially just a plate with a, a hole drilled in it. They, um, therefore, they're much cheaper, okay, than compared to an orifice uh, flow rate um, device. But um, because of this, um, their design and the um, the abrupt change of the um, flow of the fluid flow through it, they create significant pressure drops. So you can see here, there's a cross section of this plate here and um, do try and make some uh, effort to minimize or you, you know help the diversion by chamfering um, these holes um, but you can see the fluid on the center line just goes straight through and the fluid on the um, the outer edges follow these sort of streamlines as they go through the device so in the same way that we connected a monometer to the venturi we can do that um, with the um, orifice plate meter and here we've got the um, pressure um, upstream okay and um, uh, uh, point upstream and also the pressure point downstream and again you can see that there's a, um, a change in pressure here um, as shown in the manometer and um, in the, using the same analysis for the venturis we can show that for liquids the change in pressure is um, equal to the density of the manometer minus the density of the fluid in your pipe times G times HP and for gases that term can be neglected because it's small compared to the density of the fluid uh, sorry density yeah density of the fluid in the manometer and similarly um, we can show that um, the um, mass flow rate through these devices okay is equal to the um, the density times area at one times C1, which if you remember, we derived this from combination of uh, Bernoulli's and um, continuity. Um, so go back and look at the other section to see how this was derived. However, um, kind of unlike the um, Venturi, the, the change in area is slightly different. So we said with the Venturi, the actual mass flow rate is less than the um, theoretical flow rate. And that is also true for this um, orifice plate. Um, but it's even more of a factor for the orifice plate. And this is due to the way that the flow flows through that hole. So I've kind of shown a larger area, um, um, you know, in magnified what's going on here in terms of the streamlines. So if you look at the flow through the hole, because of the way fluid flow, um, the kind of the practicalities of that, the fluid flow can't change direction immediately. So, because it's got momentum. So you have these streamlines and what happens is as you go through the hole, you can see that the um, effective area, so obviously this is the area of the hole, but this is the effective area of um, this jet. The, the area continues to contract even though you're downstream of the hole. And it reaches a minimum area some short distance downstream um, from the plate. And that minimum area is called this vena contractor. Okay, And you can see that the area of this is less than the actual area in this hole. So therefore, when we come to um, Bernoulli's and we want to, you know, we're talking about the area downstream, this is the area that we're talking about, not this area, because this area is smaller. This area would be more um, restrictive. OK, so that's the actual area that it's flown through. And as I say, it's called the, the vena contractor. So when we consider the discharge coefficient for um, an orifice plate in the same way that the, the discharge coefficient is equal to the actual mass flow rate divided by the theoretical um, mass flow rate, and if we write these out, so remembering that mass flow rate is um, rho AC, um, 
the for our theoretical mass flow rate the flow rate is the density times the orifice area times the ideal velocity but what we actually have is not just the actual velocity rho times the actual velocity but the area is isn't the orifice area it's the area of the vena contractor okay so this means that we can almost um well we can break this up into two terms we can um look at cv which is the actual velocity divided by the ideal velocity and this is a coefficient of velocity okay which is typically 0.98 so um, similar to that of a venturi however we need to include this additional um, coefficient which is a coefficient of contraction which is due to the these changes in area so it's the ven vena contractor area divided by the orifice area and that's typically around 0.66 for a um, orifice plate so therefore, when you times these two, two together, you get the um, discharge coefficient. So times these two together, then it's typically around 0.65. Um, the discharge coefficient is typically 0.65 for an orifice plate meter.